What up, YouTube? It's your boy, British Customs. Back at it. So, I kind of, I kind of messed up. I was at the house yesterday, and I was about to start work on some shattered backboards. But it was a little noisy around the house. So I didn't want to get into that, but I figured, hey, I can work on those Yeezys that I had. And, uh... I had a bright idea. I was like, I'll do the intro later when it's not as loud or at the office. And then I'll just edit it into the beginning and it'll be like, it'll be like nothing. It'll be seamless. Well, problem is the shoes are done and I don't have anything to show you. Luckily, I took a couple of pics. Here's one. And here's another. But other than that, that's all I got. So anyway, these shoes were a lot of fun. It's an idea that I've had for a long, 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 long time. Um, but the way I got these Yeezys, there's a little story behind it. I'll try to keep it short, but basically, I bought fake Yeezys at the mall. Um, I went to the mall, went to go walk around all the sneaker stores, uh, see who had what, whatever. Just, just kill some time like, like usual. And there was this kid outside selling some Yeezys. Well, I could tell right off the bat they were fake. And I figured I'd go over there and drop some knowledge. Uh, try to educate him just a little bit off of what I know. I, 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 I'm no expert, but just try to give him a little bit of uh, tips on how to tell a fake Yeezy from a real Yeezy. Um, just from what I, like I said, from what I've read, from what I know. So I went over there and I don't know if he knew they were fake or not. <laughs> but if you looked at the pictures, they're... They're really bad. They're really, really, really bad. Like, I don't even think there's a Yeezy that look that's out that looks like these. Um, they're just really bad replicas. So, either he got burned or he got burned in the internet and he knew about it when he was selling it or he didn't know about it. Either way, I showed him a couple things. Uh, the boost couple different other things, but felt kind of bad for him. Um, he looked like he was pretty sad. And uh, I offered him 80 bucks for the fake Yeezys. He took it, he was glad he could get something from them. Like I said, I kind of think maybe he knew that they were fake. But you know what, fuck it, whatever. I gave him a hundred, took the Yeezys home. They've been sitting at the crib for a little bit and I've had this idea that I wanted to do to them for a while. So uh, last night I got into them, uh, worked pretty late and uh, finished them this morning. Woke up a little early and finished them. So here's the process. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoy. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for a chance to win these. To win these uh, fake Yeezy, Yeezy Beast British Customs. Check the video out. Subscribe. Follow me on social media. Couple of announcements. March 18th, Sneaker Con, Phoenix, Arizona. If you're in Phoenix, surrounding cities, come on down. Come see your boy, British Customs. I'm going to have J's, I'm going to have foams, I'm going to have customs, I'm going to have tees, I'm going to have hats, I'm going to have bats. Bunch of goodies. Come say what's up. Take a picture. April 2nd, Desert Showdown, Barbers, Co. 
customs. I'm going to be a customs competition. Come support your boy. Come root me on. Come say what's up. That's what's up. So I went ahead and already took the laces out. Masked them. Now I'll put the shoe trees. Rejuvenator shoe trees. Available at rejuvenator.com. Type British, B-R-I-T-T-I-S-H at checkout for 15% off. Take the laces, toss them back there. First thing is taking off the back tab. I already took this one off, so we'll take this one off. Now, I got a fresh blade in there, so it's not gonna take much. You just wanna pull away. While you're pulling away, you're gonna run the knife along this. Don't try to get it right in the middle. You don't want any accidents happening and cutting this stuff over here. So might as well just put, put it up against this and just cut, cut and pull away. So far, so good. Right now, I just want to take a minute to thank my sponsors who are helping me get ready for my customs competition. A big thank you and shout out to Pena Acoustics, Rejuvenator, Yinam Records, Ace Acoustics, Sinful Skin, KickballStuff.com, Dennis Giles Quarterback Academy, and a shout out to Coolin' Out and Fat Belly Entertainment. Okay. Well done. If you're interested in sponsoring me for my upcoming competition, shoot me an email at british at britishcustoms.com. British with two T's, customs with a K. Remember, if you want a chance to win these Yeezy Beast that I'm making in this video, Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, go follow me on Instagram, leave a comment, and you're in. So now that I got them laid out, got them looking like stickers, dropped the shadows, looking pretty fresh so far. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, but as you can see in areas like that right there, where the white is on the sticker and it shouldn't be, like that, like that, um, I'm going to go through and redden those out so they look like they're supposed to.
I love doing these things in reverse. They crack me up. So here's what they look like with the white sole, white liner, white laces. Now, while I think it looks pretty clean, there's something about it that also makes it look tacky at the same time, at least for my taste. So I think I'm going to go ahead and dye it, dye it red. And it's not, I'm not gonna match it with the rest of it. I think I'm gonna go a little bit darker. Um, I might leave the laces white, but I'm definitely going to do the liner, the Yeezy leather, and the sole. All right, so I mixed the sole dye. I just finished wiping off the soles. Let the sole dye sit for a little bit, and now I'm ready to paint. So let's get started. Not really sure how the red's gonna hold up once I wipe it down, what color it's gonna be. I like the deep red, I just don't think it's gonna stick. So I'm gonna paint this, this red, and probably paint this, this red as well. All right, so just to do a quick recap of what I did to the feezies in my Fufu, call them the Fufu Beast. I took off the back tabs. Then I masked off the midsoles and the liner. I laid down the stencils, the Supreme stencils, did an overall spray, then I went back and dropped the shadows, give you the sticker look. Then in some of the dead space, I went in and dropped my logo. You have to know what it is to see it, but it's there. I then dyed the midsole, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I ended up painting it like this much better. Painted the liner, painted the leather patch, uh, laced them up, did a, did a little bit different lace job on these. I basically did it opposite, so if you look at the inside, it's what you would see normally on the outside, but it looks pretty cool, I think, with the red, with the gold tips, and you can barely even feel, feel that on the inside anyway. Um, I think they came out dope. Something I've always wanted to do, give it that sticker look like it's just layered. Um, yes, I know they're foo-foo, I know they're replicas. I know how some of you feel about that. But I felt like I was helping the kid out and you can't always buy the most expensive canvas. Sometimes you buy, buy the cheap paper to practice on. So, you know, if you, uh, if you have a pair of Yeezys or MMDs that you want this done to, shoot me an email. British at BritishCustoms.com
British with two T's, customs with a K, dot com. If you want a chance to win these, these ones right here, they are size, size 10. Subscribe, like this video, go like my Instagram, at British Customs, British with two T's, Customs with a K, and look for the look for the picture with these shoes and it'll give you more information on how to win these if I can get up to 50 subscribers by Friday 50 subscribers by Friday 50 comments on this video I'll pick somebody at random to send these to size 10 Foo Foo Beast. Thanks. That was a lot of fun. Peace. I feel like Mr. Rogers. What's up, Nixon? I see you, boy.